Here at Howe Field in Eugene, Oregon, number two Oregon drills 19th ranked Arizona State the final 12 to three. For a while this game was close, but then Oregon exploded to put this one away. Let's go through the highlights, Tammy Blackburn. Well, it all started in the first inning for Oregon. That's right, the home team, the bottom of the first. They get things done. How about Costa making the throw Caparucio with the slide at home plate. Home plate umpire Eddie Cooper calls her out. And then all the way one to the wall in the second inning. It was a little bit of ASU. Bethany Kemp, the first baseman, goes over left center field with a rocket to tie things up. But then Oregon does what they do best, and they start it off with manufacturing runs, and they do it 60 feet at a time. And shots Jenna Lilly with the sacrifice, another run across the plate. Eight, and different, eight different Oregon kids knocked in runs today. And it wasn't over. In the third inning, Alyssa Gillespie, the left-hander, just pokes one through for one more run in the bottom of the third, then in the fourth. Oh, baby, how about you, Drea, putting this thing to bed with the capper of a three-run walk-off bomb? So Tammy, for the first time since 2005, we know that Oregon taking games one and two will take a series from Arizona State. Yeah, that's right, it, this is big. I mean, this is a statement by Oregon and how good they are. This is an Arizona State team that comes in with great defense, great offense, but I will tell you, they have struggled to find their bats. The pitching has been good enough for Oregon where they have, they've gotten Arizona State to take some swings. They're popping up and hitting into positional players. So Hoban Gay picks up a huge win, and the Oregon Ducks now go to 12 and 2 in conference play, still setting the standard in the conference. See you tomorrow, everybody.